Hello and welcome to the Cape Cod Community College AMT program pinning ceremony for cohort number six and cohort number seven. It is my pleasure to host this virtual pinning ceremony, the sixth in the history of our AMT program. As you well know, we all pivoted just over a year ago in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The AMT program went from 100% face-to-face to a hybrid model. The celebration of your successful completion of the program got way late until today. At this event, you will hear from FORCES President John Cox, Vice President Academic and Student Affairs Arlene Rodriguez, Dean Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Don Crampton, as well as members of the AMT faculty. Let's get your celebration started. Please welcome FORCES President John Cox. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Stan. And Stan, thank you very much for your time, your effort, your love that you've put into the Aviation Maintenance Technology Program and behalf of all our graduates, our students, both now and in the future. Thank you for positioning this program for success as you've retired from your position in leadership from AMT. We acknowledge where we are today is largely driven by your investment in Cape Cod Community College and our students. And for that, we appreciate that. And we wish you all of the best as you continue your life slightly north of the border. Thanks, Stan. How about a round of applause for Stan? OK, I heard that virtual applause, and I appreciate it. All right, seat belts fastened and tray table upright. Are we ready to roll? I am delighted that you have arrived at this moment. I cannot tell you how special and meaningful this is for me personally as you achieve this major milestone in your life. I was talking to a student not long ago who asked me when I developed the interest, that special interest in aviation. That was really a thought-provoking question for me. As you no doubt know, this is not an easy field. Highly regulated, a great deal of oversight, and somewhat expensive. And responsibility rests with every woman and man in the profession to ensure safety and precision. While I'm still one who's always amazed that these big beasts climb into the sky, what we should think of as the original skyscrapers, and transport us in this tube, whether metal or carbon fiber, through the air in modest comfort at 600 miles an hour safely. My moment was April 1988, flying over the English Channel on Britannia Air 737, and as Stan would remind me, it was powered by those cigar engines pushing us forward. Back in the dark ages, I was in the cockpit with the crew taking pictures with Alderney out in front, the coast of France in the distance, as the plane banked to the right on approach to Guernsey, one of the Channel Islands. The most memorable insight was asking the crew why they were so relaxed with a short runway and a full flight. The spontaneous answer it's all about the systems in place and all the people and technology working in unison. As I returned to my seat, I wondered who was conducting the symphony of complexity among all the systems that were at work as I noticed my seatmate there hanging on with the death grip onto those armrests as we were flying through the air. It's a very intriguing art form, aviation, and so many people play a role in its success. Fast forward to August 12th, 2012, my meeting with the leadership of Cape Air. As I was mapping out the educational needs for our regional employer with Dan Wolf and Linda Markham, 
they allowed me to view their, their need looking out into the maintenance hangar at Cape Air and watching the technicians literally pull apart the Cessnas and renew their lives. As I sat in the parking lot afterwards, sketching out my notes, we had our entry point. Cape Cod Community College had its entry point into aviation. And what you have lived for the past year and a half is the result of that moment. Reflecting back to what that Britannia Air first officer said, it's about the unison among the systems and that symphony coming together that we're all a part of. We built, Cape Cod Community College built, and we continue to refine, as you see around you, a critical piece of that complex system that works in unison with the FAA, with the airplane and engine manufacturers, and with the airlines. And because we want to test our systems even more, this year as a special bonus, we threw in a pandemic, and that you know, practically shut down commercial aviation for all of us, f following on the heels of the 737 MAX grounding. What a moment in aviation. What a moment to be educated in AMT. In time, we find our way in re-engineering the problems and we fix the errors in our system. Whether an MCAS software system or the genetic makeup of a novel coronavirus as we design a vaccine. We're able to ensure the complexities of the systems are working in unison so that we may thrive. As you reflect on your role and responsibility ensuring safety and success, know that your education and skill is critical to the success of your profession. But, but, also know your education and skill would not be possible without the support of your family, your friends, our faculty, our staff, the people around you who love you and want you to succeed. This is the moment you turn and you say, thanks. Thank you for being there to help me get through to where I am today. They'll appreciate it and you'll appreciate it too. It'll mean a great, great deal to everyone. Also, as you've wrapped up your courses and you're preparing to sit for your FAA exams, don't forget about the certificates in airframe and power plant and our associate's degree in aviation technology. Credentials with meaning and value. Most of you are very close to completing the coursework. There are three general ed requirements as a part of that, and that will lead to higher education certification. And many of you actually need less than those three classes. Think about it. It's a valuable investment in your future, and it's something that you can continue in the terms ahead, and we'll hold the current tuition and fee price as you continue on and complete your certificate and hopefully your degree. Remember, you're in a highly complex industry, and the certificates and even that associate's degree will open more doors, allowing you to continue and grow on your trajectory of success. So think seriously about your role and where you want to be in life, ensuring unison in our world full of complexity. As we close, as I close this piece, I, I do want to add that I'm very proud of your work, your studies, your success here today that we're coming together for as you embark on the next chapter of not only your career, but your life. Thank you for choosing Cape Cod Community and allowing us to be that education provider. And don't forget to look back to us for support in the future. We're here to serve. You're going to make us proud and you're going to keep us safe. So all the best and enjoy your flight. Thank you, President Cox. Good day, everyone. 
Speaking at pinnings and graduations is one of the most fulfilling parts of our job at Cape Cod Community College. And I have to tell you that this ceremony holds such significance for us. Cohort six and seven, you have not only learned the skills of your new profession, you have learned new skills such as persistence, patience, adaptability, and courage when faced with the unknown. Remember that when you go to your job interview, because we've had a lot of unknowns in the past year. Many of you face challenges in your personal and work life. Your education continued at Cape Cod Community College, but in a different format, and you adapted. And now we face the unknowns of the future. As we move out of lockdown, quarantine, world of COVID, you enter an industry slowly returning, slowly reshaping itself. You are more than ready to meet any of those challenges. You made it through 2020. You persisted. You succeeded. Let this be the mantra for your future. To the families and friends that supported you, I say thank you. Thank you for being such a wonderful partner. We often hear or even say the famous line from John Donne's poem that no man is an island. Well, I'm here to remind you of the later lines of that poem. No man is an island, and they remind us that we are all part of the main. We are one piece of the continent. If any of piece of that continent were washed away by the sea, you would feel it and be diminished, no matter how small that loss might seem. Family and friends, your presence, your support brought our students to this penning. Thank you for taking on the extra responsibilities while our students were studying or completing their makeup time. Thank you for your words of encouragement and empowerment when our students might have felt overwhelmed by the changes and all the unknowns that challenged us in the past year. To the faculty and staff of AMT, another group moves on to the workforce smarter and prepared. You have guided them through paths that none of us have ever traveled. You have exemplified the original roots of the verb to educate, which comes from the Latin verb educare, to lead out. Through all the challenges of this year, you kept everyone on the road, making sure that no one stayed behind. This year, I'd like to add another note of thanks to Stan Makowitz. Stan, you have the heart of an educator. You have taught hundreds of students about becoming an aviation maintenance technician, but you've also taught me a lot about FAA regulations, AMT, aviation, patience and trust. Thank you. You leave this program better than what it was when we started, and what more can anyone wish for in our lives? Lastly, to our new director, Michael Sasso, I say welcome. You come at a critical time, but we know that you will be moving this program forward with hopeful students. So congratulations, cohorts six and seven. I am honored to have worked with all of you. Face the challenges that life puts in your way. You've certainly demonstrated you can. You have the skills to move and work right through them. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. To cohorts six and seven, congratulations as you accept your pin. You well deserve this symbol of your academic achievement and grit. As described by the psychologist Angela Duckworth, grit is passion and sustained persistence applied toward a long-term goal. Research indicates that grit is a, an essential component of success in all endeavors. Aviation Maintenance Technology is a program that challenges and tests you in the best of times. And this past year was far from the best. I am confident that your passion for aviation and the persistence you have shown in completing the AMT program, despite the most daunting of circumstances, have given you the tools for a successful future. Again, congratulations. And now I'd like to welcome back Stan Makowitz, for awarding your pins and awards.
Just over one year ago, we lost a member of the Four Seas AMT family, a member of cohort number six, Michael Warren Harding, age 28, of Sagamore Beach, passed away at his home on February 15, 2020. Mike was born to Vicki Jean Lang and Dana W. Harding on November 6, 1991. We encourage you to perform a simple act of kindness in Michael's memory. At this time, we'll announce the recipients of several AMT program awards related to high performance and attendance and each of the, each of the modules, general, airframe, and power plant. The following students are recognized for outstanding attendance, completing the general module in cohort six, Daniel Kanata, Michael Frost, Teo Giosan, Matthew Balustra, Saheed Khan, Matthew Snyder, Marcus Williams, Abel Igunoamiak, and in cohort seven, Adrian De La Rosa. For outstanding attendance, completing the airframe module in cohort six, Daniel Kanata, Teo Giosan, Matthew Alustra, Matthew Snyder, Ethan Withhead, and in cohort seven, Max Sepulveda. For outstanding attendance completing the power plant module in cohort six, Amilcar Borges, Daniel Kanata, Saheed Khan, Matthew Snyder, and in cohort seven, Adrian De La Rosa, James Sarhanis, and Wilfred Thompson. Awards for perfect attendance. In general, cohort six, Amilcar Borges, Matthew Cote, Christopher Hayden, Gilson Moriera, Richard O'Leary, Ethan Withed. In cohort seven, Max Sepulveda, Wilfred Thompson. In airframe, cohort six, Amilcar Borges, Christopher Hayden. Cohort seven, Wilfred Thompson. And in power plant cohort six, Christopher Hayden. The Top Gun Award is presented to students with the highest grade point average. Today we recognize in cohort six, Saheed Khan. And in cohort seven, James Sarhanis. And finally, the award for best mechanic an honor chosen by the students. In cohort seven, James Sarhanis. In cohort six, Christopher Hayden. Special recognition is awarded to Christopher Hayden for his perfect attendance during the entire 1,904 hours of the AMT program. Congratulations to you all. It's time to receive your pins, a symbol of your successful completion of the Federal Aviation Administration approved 1,904 hour aviation maintenance technology program. The names of the recipients will be read by the AMT faculty. AMT faculty member, Mr. Richard Lyman. Amilka Borges. Zach. Brown, Daniel Kanata, Matthew Cote, Michael Frost, Theodore Giosen. 
Christopher Hayden, Matthew Belustra, Anna Jeffries, AMT faculty member, Mr. Greg Gibbons. Shahid Khan. Gilson Moriera. Richard O'Leary. Felicia Patuto. Stephanie Rodriguez. Matthew Snyder. Ethan Whited. Marcus Williams. Abel Yiku Noamiak. AMT faculty member, Mr. Matt Goulian. Carl Apollon. Adrian Delarosa. John Height. Haney Jacobo. James Sarhanis. Max Sepulveda. Wilfred Thompson. This concludes our pinning ceremony for the Four C's AMT cohorts number six and number seven. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay in touch. Cheers.